God's Master here with some package unopenings. Actually, I'm going to talk about a strategy about VIP. So if you're not in VIP, basically it's a monthly paid thing you get access to. You get all kinds of bonuses. I just got my VIP rewards for uh, this set here. I wasn't a member for a while, but I started it back up because Ikoria is so dope. I love it. So bottom line is that one of the strategies I tell folks is if you get a lot of packages you're opening, you're opening, I did a bunch of un openings of the Ikoria uh, pack sets and the premium packs. And what winds up happening is you get a lot of duplicates and they give you orbs times one point one and a half times what their normal value is. So you actually stockpile quite a bit of orbs. Now, you'll, there's two types of packs here. There's the VIP pack that you get access to, which in this case is strictly Ikoria cards. So it should be non-dupes. I haven't checked it yet, but as it was last time, is they should be non-dupes. So if you got all the commons, uncommons, then it will give you the rares and then the uh, mythics and then the masterpieces. So we should get some pretty good cards out of that. Uh, in the standard sets, though, they're a little more random. They're randomized. But what you want to do to maximize your higher pools is you actually want to go get all of the lower level cards, all of the uh, uh, whatever you don't have out of the... Um, standard ranked uh, commons and uncommons and any rares that you can get. So my strategy before I open that pack is I go to the uh, booster crafting <clears throat> and I have some decisions. Now I haven't been really going after the, th the, um, the Throne of Eldraine rares. So you can see that I have all of the commons, I have all of the uncommons, and I'm missing nine of the rares from there. Uh, every other set I have everything you can see it goes all the way up to actually there's a couple masterpieces out of core set but none that I care about and if we go to um, commons out of Theros uncommons out of Theros I have all of those what I don't have I'm missing 19 rare so instead of pulling those with again the more that I have the higher up those cards out of the VIP pack should get so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go craft I have 11,000 orbs right now, so that's 11 rares that I can go get out of Theros Beyond Death. And you're going to get to watch them with me right now. So let's go through these, pull these out, and then we're going to go open our VIP pack. All right, so here's pull number one. It's a black card. It is Forlorn Pseudomama. Pseudomama? Pseudomama. I like Pseudomama better. Uh, when this creature is, uh, is enchanted, create two zombie tokens. Interesting. Never played with that card. I uh, will have to give it a world. Let's go for number two from Theros Beyond Death. And I'm choosing this because I spent some time looking at which rares I wanted. Um, I actually wanted this one. This one's a cool card. When this creature enters the battlefield, it's your opponent. If your opponent has the same amount of loyalty or less than you, this creature gets plus three, plus three. Otherwise, it gains enchanted. When this creature dies, return it to the battlefield under your control. When this card enters your graveyard from anywhere, create two graveyard tokens. So... It's got haste, it's 5-5, five, five, it's cheap for 13, it's got the ability to come back, it gives you, uh, it doesn't give you loyalty, but it does get a, pl a plus 3, plus 3, but so potentially you could have an 8-8. Eight, eight. Easy enough, use up all of your uh, loyalty, is that the case? Same amount of loyalty or less than you, this creature gets plus 3, plus 3, or store up all your loyalty before you go and do it, cast this bad boy, get him on the board, and then use your ultimate on the next deal. Really like that card, I think it's good, can't wait to use it. Alright, next one. And in this one we get another black card, Night Howler. Eh, if you control two or less creatures, create a Nyxborn Night Howler token. Otherwise, target creature you control gets X plus X. X is the number of creature cards in all graveyards. Yada, yada. Okay, that's an okay card. Um, one that I'll just master and probably never play with again. All right, here's number three. Number four, actually. Green. All right, Strength from the Fallen. Constellation target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn. X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Okay, cool. Uh, it's cost 10 or less, so I could probably use that with some, um, uh, some Blue Sun Zenith on some of my combo decks. Blue one. Cool. Swan Song. This is actually another one I want. to Drain all mana from the first non-creature card in your opponent's hand. Anticipate. Create four bird illusion tokens. So with Flash, it's less than nine. You just mute it, cast it on their turn. Cool stuff. Um, actually, that a wrong one. That's not that one. There's another one that I wanted to get that's a blue card. We'll see if we get it, though. All right, we got six more pulls here. Uh, Adelon of Rhetoric. When a player casts a card, disable each other card of that type within that player's hand. Okay. Not really rare. I think it's funny that the Ikoria creatures, their commons are better than a lot of the rares in Theros Beyond Death. I mean, really. 
Um, Herald of Torment. If you control two or less creatures, create a Nyxborn Herald of Torment token. Otherwise, target creature you control gets plus six, plus six, and gains flying. That's really good. Uh, that creature gains enchanted at the beginning of your turn. You lose six life when this creature dies. Create a Nyxborn Herald of Torment token. So you lose six life, but you should be getting uh, plus six, plus six, beast of a token. All right, four more to go. Let's go. Come on, give me something good. I know there's one more in here that I wanted. I'll remember when I see it. All right, green, uh, Heron's Bane. Uh, when this creature enters the battlefield, it gets plus three, plus three. Actually, this is one of the ones I really like. So this basically comes into the board as a 5-5, five, five, and it has Ferocious. So when you cast a creature, this creature gets plus three, plus three. So bottom line, it starts off with Ferocious. I have to test that as I understand it. Um, for Ferocious abilities active as long as you control a creature with a base power of five or greater. A base power, that's why they put it in there. So you got to have a creature that has five, five already on the board. And then this one will start to escalate from there. All right, three more. All right, let's see. Come on, give me something good, man. Uh, Nasiah Wilds Ravager, when this creature enters the battlefield, if your opponent has the same amount of loyalty or less than you, this creature fights target opposing creature. Otherwise, it gets plus six, plus six. That's pretty powerful. Um, neat little green card. Green always has some really good beasties that go along. All right, two more pulls. And some of you might be wondering, why not just go use those 10,000 orbs to go get a masterpiece? Well, because you have to be a member for six months. This is actually the card I want. Destroy target creature you control, then pick two of the last four creature cards from your graveyard. Return those creatures to the battlefield under your control. And when this card enters the graveyard from anywhere, create up to two graveyard gems. This is great because you have two car critters on the board. They don't say different uh, creatures. It could be even the same creature that's in there. Not this one that's going in, but two more that are coming out. So once you destroy that creature, you got two creatures in the graveyard, you can bring them back out. Really powerful card. I'm actually excited to use that. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I love regeneration, reanimation uh, cards. All right, last one. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Brings us down to eight. Blue and Hour of Need. Uh, target creature you control gains flying and vigilance, and its power and toughness become 6-6. Six, six. Then it gains the Sphinx subtype. Anticipation the spell affects each creature you control instead. Neat, you run some small creatures with cool powers, you give flying and vigilance to your three creatures that are on the board, and basically you're able to do this at instant speed on your opponent's turn, and basically works from there. Another card that I kind of wanted, I thought it'd be neat to kind of play with. Alright, so that said, let's go back to the vault, and let's go start looking at some VIP content. What I want to do, what do I want to open first? Do I want to open the standard booster first, and then the VIP content from Ikoria? Yeah, because then if we get rares out of Ikoria from the standard set, that gives us a better chance to get that pull. So let's do that. Let's see what we get. Come on, get lucky. Give me some mythics. Let's go. Masterpiece. I haven't pulled a masterpiece yet. Let's go, man. Bam. Mythic. Kogla. I got King Kong, baby. Yeah. When this creature enters the battlefield, this creature fights target opposing creature. When this creature attacks, destroy an opposing artifact or enchantment support. At the end of your turn, you may return the last human creature you control to your hand. If you do, this creature gains prevent damage until the beginning of your next turn. Solid, baby. That's a great pool. Um, that was worth it right there, but another one. All right, this one's rare. Shimmer Dragon, while you control three or more artifact cards, this creature gains hexproof. At the end of your turn, draw X cards. X is the number of artifact supports you control, and then each artifact support you control loses one shield. Okay, interesting. Meh. Okay, see, that's why commons... I didn't have... I can't... So you can't booster craft commons and uncommons at Aquaria yet. All right, here's another one. Another mythic. Yeah, two mythics, baby. Support card enchantment god. As long as your devotion to red is six or more, your first creature gets plus seven, plus six, and gains haste. At the beginning of your turn, move the first artifact creature or red creature from your hand to the battlefield, gains haste until the end of turn. Destroy that creature at the end of your turn. Okay, cool. So you get to cheat some stuff out on the board. With this, I'll be excited to use that. And just a regular common. All right, cool. That was neat. Um, so I'm actually glad we did that because I got the two Ikoria uh, basic cards out of the way. I should have all of the commons and uncommons. Now I think I got them all. I hope. Let's let's give it a shot. Um, all right, so guaranteed non-duplicate booster pack. <sighs> I'm kind of nervous. Hold on. Let me, let me do this real quick. Let's actually go look at what I don't already have on the end here. Because if there is, like, that's a Rosina Flare's a rare. All right, so Bonder's Enclave is an uncommon. Man. And then everything else, I think I have. I hope I have. Nope, I don't have. Uh, Andatha Triome. There's a lot that I don't have. There's three, four. Is that a common? No, that's uncommon. I have four uncommons I don't have. 
you know what I'm going to do? This might be silly to some of you guys, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to go open a premium pack first. And I'm going to see if I can't pull one of those, a couple of those, because um, I'm literally buying a rare or a mythic by hopefully getting some new cards here. All right, come on, let's go, man. Give me some new cards. All right, cranking, cranking, cranking. Uh-oh, that's a rare I already have. Come on, man, don't do me like that, premium packs. Let's go. All right, got that one. So this is all duplicates. Uh, let's see. That's my coalition chiming in on me. New? Okay, that's an uncommon. That's good. Come on, give me at least another uncommon out of this set. Take a rare or a mythic, too. That'd be great. That I don't already have. Yeah, that's new. It's a new rare. Classification. Target creature you control gets plus 20. Plus. This is actually a card I've really wanted. This is going to be fun. Nothing new. All right. Come on. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, that's a mythic. Yeah, mutation. Create a feather token. Okay, I don't know what that means. But I can't wait to play it. All right, cool. So it was worth it already just in the one mythic that I pulled from the premium pack. Hopefully I get a non-duplicate rare. All right. Non-dupe, non-dupe, non-dupe. Oh, yeah, I already got that one. All right. Cool. It was worth it for the mythic and the rare that I did get. All right, so that said, let's go open a VIP pack. Uh, let's go... Um, let's look at the stats. I don't know what the percentages are. Yeah, it's all rare and uncommon stuff, but you get a shot to pull some of the other stuff. All right, screw it. Let's just go. Let's just open. That's why you're here. You want to see me open the pack. Let's do it. All right, uncommon. Mythic, Luminous Brood Moth. Hey, it's, uh, uh, it's the, guy, the guy from the Kaiju. When a creature you control without flying dies, return it to the battlefield under your control. That creature gains flying. Epic. <laughs> That's really great. New, uncommon. Come on, give me another good one. Yes, another mythic emergent ultimate. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Fetch the first four different monocolored cards from your library. I gotta take a screenshot of this. <laughs> uh, for those cards, gain full mana, then exile this card. This is an awesome card. I think it's the best ultimatum, and I pulled it. Uh, cool, Lord Dracus. Uh, another rare. Neat, man. Those are great. Yeah. And then next one. I think this is just gonna be a rare. Yeah. Huntmaster Liger. Um, your creatures get plus X plus X until end of turn. X is two plus the number of creature reinforcements that this affects triggers up to three times. Okay, cool. Hey, man, I don't care. I got the cards I was looking for. I got the ultimatum that I was really wanting to pull. Awesome job. Hope you guys enjoyed this. What cards are you still seeking out there? Does this help with the way that you're doing your VIP content? I'm quiet right now because the kids are getting into bed later on. Comment below, like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this, and I will see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.